think right now we are facing an unprecedented, um, truly historic global migration crisis. Uh, we now have over 100 million um, who've either been externally or internally displaced or all around the world. And so we're, of course, seeing it um, in our own backyard. Um, you know, so much of the news focuses on the fast burning crisis of Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which led to, you know, 7 million um, Ukrainian refugees. But in our own hemisphere, uh, thanks to, uh, you know, a dictator in Venezuela, we have a slow burning crisis where roughly that same number, 7 million, have fled to Colombia and, and countries all across the region. Um, but it's not just the typical um, reasons for why we see these humanitarian crises of war, violence, persecution. Of course, we're also need now seeing the ramifications of a climate crisis. Um, so places in Guatemala, for example, where uh, you know we have an international office and where we're seeing families who are fleeing um, droughts, uh, who have no livelihoods, who are then moving internally. And then when they face gang violence, they're traveling north. Well, that's such an important point that this is multifaceted, several reasons, not just one reason, and different in different countries of why people are coming to the United States. Uh, in terms of in our country, whether it's these border cities in Texas or places like New York, Chicago, L.A., other communities, how can the federal government better help cities feeling the brunt of this humanitarian crisis? Well, it's an important uh, question that so many um, cities are facing right now. And Secretary Mayorkas is absolutely right in saying that we have an outdated immigration system that has not been designed for the realities of 21st century migration trends. Um, and so, you know, the administration, I think, is playing its part. Um, obviously, this past week, we saw them designate Venezuela for temporary, temporary protected status, which means that we have, uh, you know, half a million families um, who are not just protected from deportation, uh, but they'll also have a fast track to work authorization, which I think will help alleviate the pressure on some of the city shelters. Um, certainly, we think that at the federal level, Congress has to act. We can't live in a system that is so outdated that the last time we've had reform was the early days of dial-up internet. Um, and so that's where obviously the gridlock of Congress is truly hurting our own self-interest. But this is also where the administration needs to step up and recognize immigration is a national issue, which requires a federal response. It is wonderful that we've seen um, DHS allocate uh, funds, but the truth is we are seeing cities in Chicago, New York, uh, bearing the brunt themselves. And so this is why we at LIRS have been advocating for a national case management system so that we can help these families, not just as they arrive in border cities, but as they go to cities, um, areas all across the country. And that's where we need to see more of a national response, recognizing the nature of this issue. Yeah, new polling shows that only 23 percent of folks approve of Biden's handling on immigration. 62 percent say they disapprove. How can the Biden administration change that heading into 2024? So part of it is substance. Um, you know, certainly we wanted to see a refugee resettlement system that was rebuilt, and we are heartened that this system is, um, you know, stronger today than it was a year or two years ago. It ought to be the way in which we respond to humanitarian crises. And after the Trump administration really decimated the infrastructure, it has taken, in our minds, uh, too long. Um, but we are heartened by the progress. Um, I think part of it is, though, understanding that some of what is out there and what Americans are hearing is fiction, and we need to fight it with fact. We need to be clear that immigrants coming across the southern border are not mules for fentanyl. We need to be clear about the fact that when we have 10 million jobs that are going unfilled and the lowest birth rate since the census has been tracking this issue, nations like ours need the revitalization. We need the strong workforce that immigration can bring, but that requires us to have a better system. And so I think that's where the administration needs to be out there explaining that they are doing their part, but that Congress needs to step up. Because right now, I think Americans just think that there's a crisis at the border, that there's no solution, and that's uh, you know not the truth.